Welcome to part 2 of this introduction to Goldwave. So far we have looked at the different windows within Goldwave and viewing, zooming and selecting areas of a sound file. Now let us look at doing some edits on a sound file. First let us open a sound file of a lady counting to 10. So we click the open button. We select the file that we want, female counting to 10, and we open that. Here we have a file of a lady counting. I'll just play that for you so you can hear it. One, two, three, four, five. What we want to do now is we want to use a cut. A cut removes the selection from the sound and copies it to the clipboard. The contents of the clipboard can then be pasted or mixed into another sound. To cut, select the part of the sound you want to cut. Let's cut the th the, when the lady says 3. And then we go up to Edit and choose Cut. If we play the sound now, back now, I'll select All. Now if I play the sound back now, you'll hear that the that the three has disappeared. Two, four, five. Two similar functions to the cut are delete and copy. So edit, copy, or delete. If we want to just delete part of the sound without copying it to the clipboard, we can use delete. If we want to copy the selection to the clipboard and not remove the selection, we can use copy. Now you have a sound on the Windows clipboard that we can paste back into the sound file. Paste will insert the clipboard sound into the current sound at the start marker's position. The length of the current sound will be increased so the clipboard sound will fit. To paste, let's move the start marker to the place where we want to paste the clipboard sound. Then we choose paste from the edit menu or click the paste button. So edit paste or we can just click the paste button. And that will have inserted the sound there. So you'll be able to hear now the lady and how she, the count has changed. Or play. Five, three, six. So the three was inserted between the five and six. Paste at edit function is also handy to paste the clipboard at the beginning or end of the current sound. This is great for adding an intro to, to our sound clip. So you can go edit, paste at beginning, end or the finish marker. We'll just click paste beginning. This will have pasted the three at the beginning of our sound. Three, one, two, in addition to pasting into the current sound, we can paste into a new sound using Paste New. So if we just want to copy part of a sound file, paste it into a new file. Ed so edit, Paste New. And that's created a new untitled sound just with the, the lady speaking the number three. Three. Then we can go about saving just that file or editing it further. I'll close that. Undo is also a well used function that you'll use many times when editing. Undo reverses the most recent change made to a sound. A copy of the original sound is kept in temporary storage and we use the menu options storage to configure storage and undo levels. Options storage. We have 15 undo levels at the moment and my temporary storage is in the D drive. It's good to make sure you have plenty of space in this temporary folder and you can change the undo levels to whatever you need. 15 is the default and I'll leave that. We also, if we undo our previous edit, we, we can also redo that up to 15 steps as well. We have a few more similar edit functions to the delete function. These are the trim and mute. Let's have a look at them now. 
The trim removes the ends of the sounds that are outside the selection. So if we make a selection of the the number three, which will be that the three sound of the lady speaking, we can then do edit trim and that will trim everything else outside. We can also use the mute edit function that simply replaces the selection with silence. So if I take the three, I can go edit mute and that will just silence the three out and not cut it. You now have all the basic editing commands to copy, cut, paste and delete parts of your sound. There are a few more advanced editing functions that will help you with mixing, fading, replacing and overwriting your sound with what is on the clipboard. You would gen generally not use these for basic audio editing. So the mix, crossfade, overwrite, replace. Occasionally we might want to look at only one channel. If only one channel is selected, some editing functions may give you results that you might not be expecting. We'll look at a few examples here so you get some more experience with how to select and edit just one channel. If only one channel is selected in a stereo sound, we will cut that channel, then only that channel is removed. Let's select the right channel. Then if we cut that channel, edit, cut, you'll see that these the 10 does not line up anymore. What has happened is this channel in the cut has been trimmed back and this will go 1, 2, 4, where the left channel will go 1, 2, 3, 4. Back to where the beginning. Delete will behave much like the cut and the selected channel is shortened. Let's try delete. So select, make a selection, edit, channel, right channel only. If we delete that, edit, delete, again it will cut one channel and shorten it and the other channel will remain the same. So the left and right after the edit will no longer sync. If we just want to reduce the right channel here to nothing but leave both left and right channel sync, we should use mute like that and the left and right channel stay in sync. Another example of editing separate channels, if we might want to duplicate the left channel to the right channel, we can use a few edit functions we have already used. So if we want to select the left channel and select all the sound, so edit, left channel, edit, select all, then we can copy that, copy, we can edit, channel, select right and we can paste it and that will paste the left on top of the right so both left and right are exactly the same. 